Hey, how you doing? It is July uh, 3rd, Wednesday, new uh, comical book day, and uh, I'm going to go through what I got. It's a big week. Uh, at, least I, at least for me it was, and uh, we'll, we'll just go through it quickly. Again, uh, in no uh, particular order, just as they were in the bag, which actually... Uh, Fell, fell down off the uh, the car seat where I had it, so they're even more mixed up than usual. So we're going to start with Immortal Hulk number twenty, and that is not to give anything away. It's Beggy Ross now, who is the the Harpy? I think she's called. Um. We got Lois Lane at number one. Um, this is by um, Ruka. I'm looking forward to that. The Jimmy Olsen book comes out later this month or next month, I think. Uh, both are a 12 issue maxi series. We got Ghost, the Cosmic Ghost Rider. Uh, destroys the Marvel Universe. I'm not sure how many issues that has left. Um, or is that a continuing? That's five of six. Okay. Uh, Black Hammer, number 11. Uh, I really recommend this series. Uh, nice touch of old, old time uh, Silver Age characters. And later this year, excuse me, is actually going to be a Justice League Black Hammer crossover, uh, which uh, has the uh, the primary members of the Justice League being transported to the farm, and uh, members of uh, a Black Hammer showing up in Metropolis. So, uh, and I believe it's by Jeff uh, Jeff Lemire, which sounds good. We got the Dreaming number eleven. Savage Avengers number three, and that is um, I don't know. I don't see it on here. It just says number three. I didn't realize it was a continuing series. Uh, okay, I don't know how they'll keep doing that. We got um, this deceased number three. Which I like. A Batman um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, 3. And this is issue 3 of that series, which is supposed to be the last. We got, uh, because apparently I missed uh, them, we got uh, Spawn 297 and 298. 298 is the one that came out this week. A um, couple more issues until 300, which uh, I understand uh, McFarlane is actually going to be doing the artwork on. We got Prodigal Son, Fantastic Four, which is another event. We got Fantastic Four, number 11. Sea of Stars, Jason Aaron, Dennis Hallam, Stephen Green, and Enrico Renzi. Uh, this apparently is, is highly recommended. Uh, the guys at the shop were recommending it. I want to say that I, the cover looks like uh, uh, Magnolia, doesn't it? Magnolia? It certainly does. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, that's by him. That's kind of cool. We got section zero, number four, and I really enjoyed this this series. Um, from Secret Warps, Secret Warps Part One, the Soldier Supreme. Um, didn't realize these characters were continued to exist once. Uh, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry. Infinity War is over. The um, 
Young Animal Doom Patrol um, number one, a new series, Way to the World by Gerard Ray. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to be doing with the Young Animal um, imprint uh, now that DC oh my God, is um, sunsetting Vertigo. Yeah, well, nice way of saying uh, shit can. Um, and they're, they're doing away with a lot of their imprints, so I don't know what this, how this affects Wildstorm, Young Animal, uh, Wonder Comics, and some others. Because um, everything is going to be, I guess, um, age-oriented. Oh, wow. And we got... Um, Steel Cage, which where you have three uh, introduction of three different series. This is from Ahoy Comics. You got three different series, and apparently, uh, you contact Ahoy and let them know which series you would like to see get. Ooh, wow, their own series. Uh, this is by a Bright Boy, uh, by Stuart Moore, uh, Noah Zock, I love that, by Mark Wade, and True Identity by Tom Pyre. Um, I'm guessing these are the three different lead characters in uh, each of the series. But uh, three um, three comics enter, one comic leaves. And uh, I'm going to have to check that out and see what goes on. And I think... Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me. That is it. Um, oh, comic shop news. I like that. This is Legion of Superheroes Millennium which is going to be a two-issue series um, and which leads into the, uh, the regular um, Legion comic, which will come out in either end of October or November. So, uh, I'm looking forward to it. By by Bendis, and as I've said before, uh, Bendis is one of those writers who, uh, uh, like Mark Millar um, and uh, a couple others, uh, they're hit or miss for me. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll throw Robert Kirkman in uh, that, that too, where uh, some of the books are hit or miss. And that is it. We got, uh, what, about two weeks left until... I need coffee, man. You'd think after two or three cups of coffee, I wouldn't be yawning. But I am. Uh, two or three weeks until uh, Comic-Con. Um, psyched as always. I got a place to stay, which is nice. That's one nice thing about having family down there. Um... Uh, and uh, tomorrow is the 4th of July. I'm going to stay out of the politics of that. But um, as a veteran, I'm not really thrilled about what is being done uh, with uh, part of that parade. Um, which I see as a, a, uh, basically an ego, an ego stroke. Um for somebody and a horrible waste of money and time for military uh, men and women who should be home with their families. Um, anyway, as I said, I was going to get political, but I, I can't help it so much. Anyways, uh, peace out. Take care. Probably see you next week. Um, the week after that is Comic-Con, so I probably won't be hitting the shops until, uh, until my return. But anyways, uh, anyways, uh, take care of yourself. Peace out. 
uh, be good. If you have HBO, check out uh, Chernobyl. And I'm also binging uh, the first season of True Detective. Finally, I can see why everybody was raving about it. Take care.